Hello guys, it's Evan from Evidence here and welcome to this new video. And this time, this is a completely new video because today we're playing Fall 4 and today I'm gonna showcase part of my settlement just for people to see what I built. And before the video starts, um, there are a few things I have to note. First of all, I know that the video is laggy at some points. Uh, simply because Fall 4 usually runs good on my PC, but once I start recording, it still runs good, but the recording is very laggy for whatever reason. So what I did was I turned the DPI on my mouse rather low and walked around very slowly with during the recording and then sped it up in the editing. And yeah, now the frame rate is okay and some parts are a little bit laggy. And the second thing is I pre-recorded the entire thing and now I'm just now I'm just gonna talk whilst the video is running next to it. So this is actually the first time I'm doing this, so if it doesn't seem too well, well, I'm sorry, now you know it. And this is the only way I could showcase it to you, and I think I did quite well building this entire thing, and I um, just wanted to know what you think about it, and just wanted to showcase it to you. But yeah, anyways, let's start the video. Okay, so I built this special thing um, at Sanctuary, and exactly where the sign is, um, here at the bridge. So it all starts with those stairs leading downwards. I'm going to talk about them <laughs> in a moment. First of all, um, yeah, I'll give you a short overview. Therefore, I will go onto the bridge here. So yeah, here you can see a little car accident and some trash down in the water, but I will talk about this later in the video. First of all, I'll just have to get rid of the rain, which <laughs> therefore I'm just gonna go and sleep. You will just see a short cut here. Um, after I played around with this 25 miles per hour sign, Oh yes, I don't know why I actually took it into the recording. But yeah, I'll see you in a moment. So, I am back and it's sunshine now, so perfect time and weather for you to showcase, or for me to showcase, this little harbor down here. I think I'm gonna call it Chunk Harbor. So, it consists of three homes for settlers. First of all, we've got this fishing hut, it's also the first building I built and here is the settler who lives in it, a fisher, and I gave him a billiard co or pool with barbed wire around it so it looks like a fishing rod. Here's just some chunk lying in the water and I didn't delete the chunk here because I think it looks good and also brought in some barrels from the outside so I had to carry them um, here from far away, rather far away I think from Vault 111 up the hill. And as you will see later, I used a lot of the pillar glitch, so it didn't mod anything at all. And here you can see just Preston Garvey, and I don't know why I did this. Um, I think he wanted to give me another one of those quests. And I really do like this basket down here. I found it down or upwards upstream in the river. And here's a little fishing space or place um, with a little chair and of course also the bait box and a basket full of fish and as you can see I'm using lots of the parts from the Far Harbor DLC since, since they all have to do with fishing and the sea so it really does fit in here. Up here you can see the lighting which is now not active because I accidentally deleted one of the generators here. You can see some food stuff and cutlery of course also up here in the shelves and here you can see sorry that's in German but it actually means air gun and this is just a hunting rifle with an 38 caliber conversion and a silencer basically it does the amount of damage of an air gun and also sounds like it here we've got an arm crock and a straw cushion and it's really funny sometimes they actually do sleep on the cushion it just looks like their head is lying on the cushion but I'll showcase this later. Here you just see some of the stuff, decoration lying around. Um, a few pieces of leather, scrotum rat leather and rat stag leather. And a provisionary battery. 
So yeah, that was basically it for the fishing hut. Now I'm just going to quickly showcase this pile of junk here. And this is why it's also called Junk Harbor. So um, settlers here also collect junk. And as you can see, I use a lot of the pillar glitch. Nothing of this junk was here before. Um, here we've got a barbecue, a room chair, some pipes, and of course also the TV. And it just floated a little tire. So yeah, that was it for the fishing hut. Okay, now we're going on with the hut of the junk collector, and as you can already see, it looks like it's scrapped together out of a lot of pieces of junk. And here we've got his utility piece, his power armor, and this is used by the junk collector, another settler living here, to dive around in the little pond around the sanctuary to collect junk. And it looks like a an old diving suit, and that's on purpose. So he used some of the Raider power parts and some old T60 power armor to make it look like that. And yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's standing around in the water, that's why it's rusty. So I didn't upgrade it. It's really just the Model A version. And here's just some scrap and junk lying around, stuff you might need to repair the power armor. So going on, this is how he produces his own electricity. I know that the generator wheel is actually spinning the wrong way because this is supposed to be like a water mill and it's supposed to be powered by the water. Of course, it's just the air generator, like a big air turbine, but um, in this case, it's supposed to look like it's powered by the water, but it's turning the wrong way. So yeah. Couldn't fix it any way other. And here we just have our our water collector, the big one. And I just like the industrial and scrap together look of it. So that's why I used it here. So going on, this is a little harbor station where the power armor is standing around. And now we will look take a look inside of the hut of the junk collector. So as you can see, all of this is just scrapped together. We've got a little cooking station, a little shelves, some little shelves, and of course, some just a mattress. So this person here is a little bit poor, but yeah. And I do have to say, I do like how there you can see through those through the, through the floor, and you can see the water flowing by. I just I don't know. I really do like it. Uh, it really just gives it this feel of someone poor living here, but he tried to make himself a living, or he tries to make himself a living. And here, of course, some decoration fitting to the entire setting. Knight of the Fishman's... Um, shit, couldn't read this. Uh, anyways, staring Anton Collins and May Whitley. Oh yeah, Knight of the Fishman's Revenge. So, just fitting for the entire location. And that's basically it. There's just some other stuff from the Far Harbor DLC standing around on the right. And now we can watch Deacon trying to repair the diving suit. I mean, if he doesn't find anything better to do, at least he's not um, trying to kill my nerves. So yeah, that was it for the hut. So proceeding, I will show you the last um, housing where a settler lives, but before that I will just want to show you my uh, strange love to detail. In this case, um, I actually got myself a rescue ring, I think that's what they're called, and it actually fit on this pole here. So this really just gives it like the look of a small harbor, like you know, a small old pier. And also proceeding, I do like the railing next to it. I think I'm going to take a look at it in a moment. Um, yeah, so here we've got some old stairs. And I do have to say, I love it when you can see something through the water and it's half submerged. I don't know why, it just, I think this gives it this cool ambience, ambience and this cool feeling. Here you can see the railing. I used the pillar glitch, the concrete pillar glitch to make them sit down there. Um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this, so I'm not going to explain it here in this case. And as you can see, we're starting to see the last housing here, and it's really just one... It looks like a homeless guy built this himself, and that's basically what it is. Um, it's very poorly made. This is just an old cloth uh, roof here, and some 
light bulbs with radioactive stuff inside. And of course an old homeless man's fireplace barrel. And some boxes which I collected. This is just decorations. You can find those boxes all around the wasteland. Just carry them here. And an old bucket, of course. Nothing to miss when you're trying to fish something. The bucket may not be missing. So, proceeding, here we've got the second fishing spot, and there's no seat here, there's no chair here. Uh, basically, just because the guy is poor and cannot really afford a lot. And we've got a cutting board here lying on top of the basket full of fish, so people here are s pretty successful fishing in radioactive water. And now we will take a look at the sleeping spot. It's really just the sleeping bag, nothing else. Um, there's supposed to be a straw cushion here lying around somewhere. I fear it got floated down a little bit downstream. Um, just gonna take a look at it. Uh, it should actually be lying around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there, there I found it then down there, luckily. And uh, back before in this bucket, there was actually supposed to be uh, another tool lying around in it, but it kind of got missing. Or, I guess it's just on the ground of this pond somewhere. Uh, probably never be found again. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a look at this fireplace here. Of course, all of this is supposed to look like the sky living here is very poor. And this is actually something I do like, the look of it. Uh, first of all, we've got this kind of lobster cage um, for catching lobsters and crabs and other stuff in the river. And you can just teleported himself here. Um, just ignore that. And I'm going to take a look at what I build around it in a moment, because this is more important. This is like, um, yeah, you can actually catch stuff inside of it. It's supposed to catch fish and other stuff in it. Just ignore this hole in the chain linked fence there. I don't know why it's there. Um, but also I used a chunk fence and then again the pillar glitch just to make it submerged. And I do like the rust, rusty um, chain linked fence on the outside. It just absolutely fits. It looks like it's totally scrubbed together. This guy just went around, collected some chunk and built himself this kind of um, catching area here where fish will just swim in downstream and get caught inside of it. But it does not only work with fish. I'm actually going to showcase it in a moment here, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just going to take this bucket here and I'm going to show you how this works. Because if chunk gets floated down or floats down the stream, maybe the chunk collector uh, kind of lost it on one of his expeditions. Um, it's just going to get caught inside of here and he can try to sell it or use it himself, for example. So yeah, I do like the look of it. Um, just gonna need to put this somewhere back here. And yeah, again, as you can see, there was a little bit of lag here. I just can't do anything against it. It's yeah, the other only choice I would have had it was to use screenshots, but that would have just resulted in a strange dire show and I would not have wanted it. But yeah, anyways, let's take a quick look at the car accident down here. So if you play fall for yourself, you should know that there are not that many cars around here. <laughs> There's actually only the one car down the river down there. Um, not the black one on the right one on the right sides, but the left car is there in the standard issued version. But I used a, I wouldn't call it a glitch, but there's actually something where when you drop a weapon, you can pick up the weapon and then push around the car with it. And as you could see, the car is only held by one little board there, so it's actually quite secure there, it should not fall down. And here you can see an old motor. I I don't know, and I don't know why it's floating around. It seems like it, it weighs like a ton or something, but I'm able to pick it up and it's floating, so fuck physics. And this is also one of the cars, and this is our behind it. I actually brought this from Concord here. So I brought it past the Red Rocket Station, and it really took me <laughs> so fucking long just to bring the car down here. It's um, There's something, sometimes even the bug where it just disappears because it's actually a blown up car, and some of them actually disappear. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna try and show you how the entire city now looks at night. I'm gonna be back in a moment and welcome to the Romance Chunk City or Chunk Harbor. One of the romant most romantic spots in the entire wasteland when it's evening. Yes, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how it looks like when the settlers are actually sleeping on their cushions, but they don't really often do that. I mean, I actually usually do that, but I don't know why it doesn't work out now. Um, and it's even stuck behind his head. Cool. Here, take the alarm clock instead. At least he will wake up early enough tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, just not gonna take the shotgun. And the set there's actually no settler at the moment in the chunk collector's hut. I will have to take care about this. But for now, I'm just gonna... Um, yeah, show you the lighthouse. Of course, since this is supposed to look like a harbor, there should not be a lighthouse missing. So I actually used one of those old stone pillars, which are already there, and put four iron beams or steel beams up it, uh, up on top of it, and some barn items to create this kind of towerly look, and put some lighting inside of it. But yeah, anyways, that was it with the chunk harbor in Sanctuary. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my build here and also my showcase video. It was a lot of work, I have to say. Um, sorry again for the lags, I can't do anything about it. This is the only way I can actually show you how it looks like. But I think it did a rather good job. Yeah, anyways, tell me what you think about how I build this. Tell me what you think about the video itself. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then please leave a like, share it with other people, especially other people people who like to build settlements in Fallout. Um, there are actually a lot of people out there, especially on YouTube, and they do an amazing job. Like, I'm not even getting close to them. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like, maybe share it with someone. I already said that, I think. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.